Hello, this is Sandal Learn Long, and in today's mathematics class, we are going to discuss corresponding angles, co interior angles, and alternate angles. In the previous video, I discussed supplementary angle, complementary angles, and vertically opposite angle. If anybody of you want to learn that and revise that, I am providing the link of that video in the description. You can see from there as the start. So without any further wait, let's start learning complementary angle. Sorry, let's start learning um, corresponding angle, co-interior angles, and alternate angles. So first, let's, uh, sorry, there was a class before. Let me remove it. Okay. So what are corresponding angles? Corresponding angles are those when two parallel lines are cut by transversal to no four pairs of corresponding angles are formed. are formed. How? Let me tell you. So these are two parallel lines and they are inter uh, cut by transversal. So angle A equal to angle B. Angle C equal to angle D. Angle E equal to angle F and angle G equals to angle H. So four pairs are formed. How four pairs? This is one pair. This is two pair. This is third pair. This is fourth pair. So according to this, I can say that angle A is equal to angle B. Angle C is equal to angle D. Angle F E is equal to angle F. Angle G is equal to angle H. So four pairs of corresponding angles are formed and they are basically exactly equal to each other. Each pair is basically, uh, each angle in the pair are equal to each other. Next angle that we are going to understand are co interior angles. Co interior angles. Co interior angles are those they are basically supplementary angles. They add up to give us 180 degree. How they are formed? When two parallel lines cut by transversal Two parallel lines cut by transversal two pair of angles, co interior angles are formed. Angles are formed. How? Let me show you. So here are two parallel lines and they are cut by transversal and here you will see that angle A is the basically co-interior to angle B and they add up to give us 180. How do I know? Okay, so how it's, what is the easy method to identify it? It basically forms this shape. So when it forms this shape, the angle that are corners of this, the angle that are corners of this, basically they add up to give us 180 degree. Similarly, the angles that are corner of this shape, they will also C shape, you can say. Okay, you can say that C shape. So angle at the corners over here and the corners of C, they add up to give us 180 degree. So they are basically co uh, co-interior angle 
there are two pairs are formed a plus b is one pair and c plus c is an other pair i hope you are understanding it next is alternate angle in alternate angle basically the same thing will happen but a z shape will form alternate angles alternate angles are basically equal so when two line parallel lines i am writing each thing on board so that you can make your notes side by side and you can understand it also when two pair of uh, when two parallel lines are cut by transversal two pair of alternate angles are formed or formed so this will be cut by a transversal so how alternates are formed let me show you there is a z shape form so angles at the corners of this z shape are basically equal so angle a is equal to angle b similarly there is an other z form how let me show you like this so these angles are also equal so angle c is equal to angle e now let's understand some questions on it so that you understand these things in detail okay let's move on to question so our first question is this uh, in first question, two parallel lines are given and they are cut by transversal. So I can say that, okay, in one question, many rules can apply. So it's not necessary or you're not bound to use only one rule. If you're getting right answer by applying any of the rule, that's fine at all. So 112 and angle A are basically alternate to each other and they are vertically opposite. That's also fine. Another rule can apply. B and 112 are corresponding and a and b are alternate to each other sorry uh, vertically opposite to each other okay vertically opposite a and b are vertically opposite vertically opposite and a and 112 are alternate next is there are again two parallel lines and they are cut by transversal so this is the transversal so x and 105 are basically alternate to each other Similarly, over here, there is an other transversal if I draw it. So angle Z and angle, this is, uh, angle Z and 45 are basically also alternate to each other. Over for Y, there are two rules can apply. One rule is that angles on one line add up to give us 180 degree. So 105 degree plus 45 degree plus y can add up to give us 180 degree. So we can subtract uh, 105 and 45 from 180 and it will give us 30 degree. Or another rule can also apply that uh, angles in one triangle add up to give us 180 degree. So 105 plus 45 plus y again is equal to 180 degree. Next, we are going to understand this figure. This is also extremely easy figure. You might be saying that it's not easy. Oh, no, it's easy. So basically, 40 is basically vertically opposite to C. So C is 40. If I see that, the next rule applies Z shape. So in Z shape, I can see that angle E and angle C are basically angle E and angle Z are basically alternate angles then angle d how i can find angle d angles in one triangle add up to give us 180 degrees so 40 plus 72 112 180 minus 112 
the answer would be 68. So if D is 68, A is also 68 because they are vertically opposite. Okay. So C is 40, E is 40, D is 68. And A is also 68 because they are vertically opposite. How to find B? These are the angles on one line. And angles on one line add up to give us 180 degrees. So 180 minus 108, the answer will be 72 degrees. Now part D, how to solve it? There are two parallel lines. How to identify parallel lines? They are basically two arrows you can see and they are going in the same direction and they will never intersect each other. And there is basically, this is the transverse. Okay. And there is another transversal also. Uh, okay, this is the basically transversal, sorry. So in this transversal, basically this thing, and there is uh, two transversals are there basically this one and this one. According to this transversal, basically uh, this 39 and this 39 are the corresponding angles. And how to find angle B? Angles in a one triangle add up to give us uh, 180 degrees. So 39 plus 39, 78, 180 minus 78, you will get the answer 102 degrees. I hope you are getting it. If you're not getting it, you can comment in the section. And if you want to explain me any topic again, I will explain that. And if you want me to give you any topic as a personal tutor, as a private tutor, you can email me that will provide it in my description link also and also at the end of the video. Okay, let's continue. Next question is party, how to solve it? That's extremely, extremely easy. So 180 plus 110 angle X. Okay, angles on one line add up to give us 180 degrees. So 180 minus 110, 70 degrees. So X and Y are basically, what do you think? They are basically corresponding angles. Now you might be thinking that they are co-interior angles. No, no, not at all. Okay, because their transversal line are not same. Getting? Their transversal line are not same, so they are not co-interior angles. Angles on one line add up to give us 180 degrees. So 85 and 95 will give me 180 degree. And 85 and angles, we are basically corresponding. Over here, if I see that there are two parallel lines in this direction, and 45 and X are basically alternate angles, and 60 and Y are basically also alternate angles. That was quite easy. Now let's do it next. Okay. So this is also an extremely, extremely easy and easy question. Okay, easy, easy question. So let's do it. So over here, if I see that there are two parallel lines in this direction and they are intersected by this line. So what do you think the angle Y would be? I think so it should be 60 degree because they are corresponding angles. What do you think? I think so it should be 60 degree. Yeah, then uh, uh, angle uh, X and angle Z, that's really a confusion. Angle Z, it's so easy to find. Angles on one line add up to give us 180 degrees. So 180 minus 98, what it would be? 180 minus 98, it would be 82. Okay, so it would be 82. And angle Z and angle X are basically corresponding angles. Next is? this question if i say that these are two parallel lines in this direction and they are intercepted by this transversal so can i say that 42 and y, x are alternate angles yes i can say that and can i say that if this is the transversal then z and 65 degree are basically alternate angle yes i can say that how to find angle y i think a lot of time we have done in the previous video we also did what are supplementary angles? Angle that on, lie on one line add up to give us 180 degrees. So 180 minus 42. What does it give? It gives us 138 degrees. Now this part is a little bit tricky. Might be tricky for you. Let's do it. So basically over here, if we see that there are three parallel lines. This parallel, this parallel. Okay. And this is the line of transversal. So if this is the line of transversal, can I say that 105. Uh, uh, and D will add up to give us 180 degree. 
So 180 degree minus 105 will be 75 degrees. So C and 75 degree are corresponding angles. And C and E are, uh, and sorry, C, A e and E and 105 are basically also corresponding angles. Now what is angle A? Angle A obviously is the alternate angle. How it is the alternate angle? Let me tell you. Because these are two parallel lines in this direction and they are cut by transversal. So angle A is basically the alternate angle. Now what is angle B? It's extremely easy to find angle on one line. Add up to give us 180 degree. So, so 180 minus 40 degree, it will be 140 degree. That was quite easy. If you don't understand it, I hope you are understanding it. Okay. Let's continue from here in the next class. In next class, I will be updating more good videos regarding maths. Okay, in this video, this video might be useful for Cambridge Mathematics, at Excel IGCSE, at Excel GCSE Mathematics, AQA Mathematics. If anybody of you want me as a private tutor, uh, I'm providing the link in the description uh, of the email. You can email me and we can have the uh, online classes. Mm. Uh, also, if uh, you want to understand everything in detail you can subscribe to my channel and now to keep learning and stay tuned in order to stay updated you have you can subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you can get the notification first and you can follow each and every lecture in detail see you bye